Welcome to the art project. This is a continuation of the AP 2D art and design, 3D art and design, and drawing manual. I'm looking at it, reading it, trying to figure it out to the best of my ability. Um, again, if you have been to a workshop and if I'm saying anything wrong, please correct me in the comments down below. But um, as it is, I'm reading through it and trying to do the best I can to demonstrate it. So, uh, if you've been watching the other videos, I've been working on a series of paintings, a body of work, a sustained investigation uh, in regards to a dartboard that I found on the side of the road. And so I came up with some other ideas uh, along with the help of my wife, and I did not actually have my sketchbook nearby. Um, I was at home, my sketchbook was in the studio, I didn't want to walk all the way out and get it, so I wrote some notes down on a piece of uh, yellow paper that my wife gave me, or whatever color this paper is. So I'm going to cut it out and glue it into my sketchbook, so I have written documentation of my uh, brain at work on this sustained investigation of the dartboard. And so I'm just going to uh, cut it out and glue it down. I decided to glue it a little crooked, make it a little bit more interesting in my sketchbook, make my sketchbook a, a little bit more fun. Um, and then I took some pictures of some of my ideas. After that, I printed the pictures out. Uh, you probably saw me do this uh, earlier uh, in another video. I took the pictures and I cut out the ones that I like and I glued those down. And then, uh, because I had pictures of it, I didn't really duplicate or draw any of those pictures. I've got now a reference photo that I can use. And I did take some notes and write some stuff about the different formats, the different compositions that I had uh, chosen, including uh, putting Barbie on the uh, dartboard. So, you know, sometimes just adding things to it, like adding Barbie to the dartboard, kind of makes a story, kind of uh, a little mystery, maybe. Uh, there's some meaning there of some kind. What am I trying to do to Barbie? Uh, why is it Barbie and not Ken? Um, you know, stuff like that. Uh, these are things that the viewer will have to kind of work out and figure out. Uh, I had some other ideas. Uh, like abstracting the dartboard and those I could not uh, take pictures of obviously I had to uh, draw those out so on the next page I started uh, drawing but uh, before I got to that I had a page where the marker had bled through my um, sketchbook page so I glued the rest of my pictures on top of it I just glued one half of this one down so you could kind of flip it up and look at the um, images underneath. I drew uh, a trace day uh, card so that I have two rectangles that were kind of proportionate to a canvas or a piece of drawing paper and then I began to abstract the dartboard drawing out the segments. Uh, for what I'm doing I just felt like the most important thing was that there be 20 uh, segments you know like there's 20 or actually 20 sets of segments. There's 20 uh, points around the board and uh, or 20 numbers around the dartboard. So that was kind of the main thing that I wanted to do here. After I drew several of them out, then I started overlapping or actually underlapping. Uh, notice I also went off the sides of the um, card that is uh, out of the border, off the format, whatever you want to call it, uh, to make it a little bit more in interesting. Uh, and then I began to color it in. I only had a few materials with me. I'm in my studio. I should have tons of markers and tons of color pencils, but I don't. Um, I mostly have acrylic paint and oil paint and ink. And so uh, I didn't have any markers, uh, just a few, uh, few mark, one or two markers. Um, I had a black, couple black pens and I had, um, a red pen and I had a highlighter and so I just used what I had to color it in and the dartboard is like black and tan so I don't know what color that is that I used first it was just a marker that I had handy and by the way I was choosing trying to choose markers that don't bleed through the paper a lot of markers will bleed through the paper uh, this was a Faber-Castell Faber-Castell pen or marker brush pen 
and so I used it uh, to keep it from bleeding through. And then after that, I used, I actually messed up on some of it, so I used a little gel pen to kind of white it out. I used a green highlighter for the green segments, and I used a red pen for the red segments. Uh, I think it's a red pen. I don't, maybe it's maroon. I'm colorblind. I don't know. Um, anyway, so that was the first one. I lost the footage of me drawing the second one, but I used the same basic idea. I threw the segments all over the page, uh, kind of scattered them around, and then uh, started coloring it in with the black pen and the green or yellow, whatever color it is, uh, just using what I had available, you know. Um, so as it is, I'm, I'm not even going to show you the final painting in this picture. I haven't done that yet, but I just wanted you to see in my sketchbook me working out some different ideas. Some of the ideas I worked out in a photograph, some of the ideas I'm having to do by hand, uh, but that's what a sketchbook's for. And by the way, and this is extremely important, I think, the sketchbook saves me money and time. While it may take me five or 10 minutes to do one of these sketches, that's five or 10 minutes to find what I like or what I don't like. If I don't like the way this is arranged, I can change it up. But if I tried to do this on a larger canvas, if I tried to do this on a uh, 9 by 10 or a um, 18 by 24 or something like that, it would just take me a lot longer. Um, and that time uh, would be sort of wasted if I didn't like it. You know, if, it, if I didn't like the way it turned out. Uh, then I would have spent all that money on canvas, all that money on paper, and all of that time. So, anyway, save yourself some time, save yourself a month, some money, and just work in your sketchbook for as long as you can, and work out several ideas until you come out with the one that you like. I think I'm going to end up doing all of these uh, in a painting, different paintings. So, your turn. Go make some art. You should also subscribe and hit the like button so you don't end up like Barbie.